This is Bonebroke Gamer Girl, and this is my review of The Walking Dead, the Telltale series collection for the PlayStation 4. Because I pre-ordered The Walking Dead the final season, I got this game for free. At first I was going to skip it because I played all these games a bunch of times and have done multiple reviews on them. The platinum trophy for this game though was just too easy to pass on, and I decided to play this game, making it the fourth time that I played The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2, and the second time that I played The Walking Dead A New Frontier and The Walking Dead Michonne. Anyway, I played all of these games again and got the Platinum Trophy, so it's time for a review. The Walking Dead The Telltale series collection combines all of The Walking Dead games that Telltale has released into one convenient little collection that allows you to download and play all of the games that they have available. Just a warning, this is going to be a long review as I basically recap all four games that have been put into one. Unfortunately, there will be some spoilers that are unavoidable, so I apologize ahead of time if you haven't played any of these games. In The Walking Dead Season 1, you'll play as Lee. Lee is on his way to jail when the zombie apocalypse hits, and he meets up with Clementine. Clementine is hidden in her treehouse, hoping that her parents will come and get her. Knowing that's not going to happen, Lee takes charge of her. They'll adventure through new territory together as they learn the ways of this new world. They'll make both friends and enemies and just try to survive in this epic five-episode adventure. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. 
what should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. In The Walking Dead Season 2, you'll play as Clementine. Left alone after the events of Season 1, she'll have to learn to survive on her own or trust the people that she meets along the way. Still a little girl as this takes place not too long after the first season, this is probably one of the toughest seasons to play as Clementine. She'll be used by the people around her, tested, and try to grow up in this new world. Along the way, she'll meet some people from her past and see if she could truly ever trust people or if she'll forever be alone. This is gonna suck. fun part. Now, just like last time, just how Crystal showed me.
Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. I'm still not bitten. In The Walking Dead A New Frontier, you'll take on a new direction as you play once famous baseball player Javier. Javier was banned from the game because of his gambling and is now trying to reconnect with his family as his father dies. Too bad this is the same time as the zombie apocalypse hits and he's left in charge of his niece and nephew along with his sister-in-law. They'll have to learn to survive on their own and will eventually run into Clementine, who you get to play in small sections as you see what she's been up to since the events of The Walking Dead Season 2, and will basically get them into all kinds of trouble by leading them to a new frontier. This supposed safe haven isn't so safe as it once was as Javier will run into someone from his past and will have to make decisions that not only affect his family but Clementine as well. <sighs> Ah, fuck. Yeah. All right. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Well, you almost crushed me in the process. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This is a better deal for you. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. In The Walking Dead Michonne, you'll get to play as one of the most popular Walking Dead characters, Michonne. This is a small three-part episodic game that will take place in a short period of Michonne's life when she is separated from her group, which I am assuming is Rick and Company. Anyway, you'll take a little journey with her that will really make no difference in any other game or the actual game that you're playing, as the whole point of this game is for Michonne to face her past. Just two that I can never forget. I 
I thought I was done with them. But they're not done with me. Some days I envy the dead.
I really didn't mind playing this game and replaying all of these games over again, but like always, there was something that just ruined it. We'll get into that a little bit later, but I have to say that the remasters of the first two games played out pretty well in this collection, and it was fun to jump back into Season 1 and see how things first started. It was also fun to go back into the newer games and see what other decisions could be made as I prepared to play the final season. That being said, I did regret actually playing this game because I think that it was just too much for me. Playing the same thing over and over is just a little much and not that many things changed as I tried to make different decisions, but they all led to the same conclusion. It really wasn't all that great afterwards and after episode one of the second season, I just decided to not care anymore. It's sad because this is a really great collection of games, but this one is totally on me as I was just into it and then I lost interest because of the amount of time that I've already played. At a certain point, it was just about finishing the game and getting it over with to get the Platinum Trophy. Oh, Telltale, your playability when it comes to these games just suck. Sometimes they were improved upon, like the crashing, but other things like the wonky quick time events and the long loading screens were just not fixed for this collection, and it felt like they just gave up, which is kind of ironic now. This I could live with as I had to replay section after section of the game that just did not sync with the right quick time events, but what I couldn't live with and what made me not care about this game was the collection's obvious disregard for the decisions that I made in previous episodes. This happened after the first episode of season 2 where all of my choices from the previous episode were ignored upon starting episode 2 and this just royally pissed me off. For a game that's supposed to be based on the decisions that you make, apparently your decisions don't matter, and this is a major glitch that ruined this game for me and made me go into not care mode. This wasn't the only time this happened, as time after time, again, decisions that were made in previous seasons were lost and turned into something that wasn't even chosen. This was a real downer, as I felt like Clementine's story, my story, wasn't being told the way I played it. The whole, this game is based on the decisions that you make, the story is tailored by how you play, warning that comes up before each episode is just bullshit. The graphics for this game were spot on like they usually are, and they were really enjoyable. The first two games transferred over well, and the last two games, A New Frontier and Michonne, had the same graphics that they did on release day. I really like the graphics for this series as it emulates a graphic novel, which is what it's trying to represent. I find this refreshing for the series as it's new and the art style is just one of those things that I absolutely love about this game series as a whole. There were a total of 52 trophies for this game and you can get all of them by just playing the game. Some might see this as an easy task, but really it's not. After all the mistakes with decisions and stuff, this game gets really annoying to play and you'll get to the point where you just want to finish and you really don't care. This is sad because it's a really good series, but this game goes and messes everything up, making getting these trophies a real hassle. None of these games have multiplayer, and that's just fine with me because the multiplayer for this could have been a real hassle as well. I think that Telltale needs to just stick with the single player game since they already seem too hard to handle as it is, which is also ironic since they're basically closing now. Overall, I give this game a 2 out of 5. Here's what's great about it. This has all of the Walking Dead games wrapped up into a nice little package of a collection, and you can play them all at once without having to switch games. Also, the graphics from the portovers for the PlayStation 3 and the games that were made for the PlayStation 4 are just amazing, and they really bring this game and the series to life. Here's what's not so great about this game. While some game-breaking glitches are fixed, new glitches emerge, and they are more frustrating than ever. In a game where your choices matter, your choices for this game do not matter, as you'll see later on in the game when all of your decisions from previous games and episodes are changed to whatever the hell Telltale wants them to be. This ruins the whole game and makes you just not care anymore. I gave this game a really low score because of the whole decisions thing. That being said, I really do love this series and it will always hold a special place in this little gamer's heart, but there are some things that just can't be forgiven and the whole decisions thing, this is one of them. Playing these games alone is one thing, but playing them as a collection is just not worth it since 
your proper decisions don't carry over and you'll be left having to recreate your decisions in later seasons, and you'll have to do so in the final season as well, making playing all of these games over again pointless. If you want to do it for the easy platinum, that's one thing, but if you're playing this game for the first time, I kind of feel bad as you won't really get to experience how great this collection of games is. I would say that if you've played these games before in their original settings, then just leave it at that. If you're new to the Walking Dead franchise, then just be prepared to be disappointed when the choices you made are written over by whatever system error is going on. You can go back and correct them or just live with them as you move forward. This is One Broke Gamer Girl. I just want to say a big thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you just watched, then go ahead and hit that like button down below. One more thing, since you've already hit the like button down below, you've already hit the like button down below, right? Well then, why not go ahead and go one step further and leave a comment too? Since you've already hit the like button and left a comment, you did both of those already, right? Then why not just take one more tiny little step and hit the subscribe button as well? Just one more thing, since you've already come this far, would you kindly check out the links in the description? That way you can follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and maybe even check out my blog.